Aloha. You're watching F5 On Demand. I'm Technical Marketing Manager Peter Silva. We're here in San Francisco at the Moscone Center for Oracle Open World 2012. We're in booth 1527, so if you're in town, come on by. And we're fortunate to have Chris Acker. He's a business development solutions architect with us. Hey, Chris. Thanks hey. for joining me again. Sure thing. So last year at Oracle Open World, we announced our integration with our big IP application security manager with Oracle's database firewall, and we did a little bit of a demo last year. And over the past year, we've added some features to the integration, and I thought it'd be great to catch up with Chris to see some of the new stuff. So tell us a little bit about what's going on, Chris. So this last year, we went and worked with the Oracle database firewall team in London, and we put Big IP in front of the database firewalls, so now we can actually load balance the database firewalls in active, active mode, whereas before, without Big IP in there, they would have to run in active, passive mode. Okay. So this gives customer, obviously, customers higher availability because they can have more active firewalls. They have higher scalability because as their needs grow for database firewall services, they can simply add additional database firewalls and make them active for handling the monitoring of the SQL traffic and those kinds of things. So the solution worked out really well for the database firewall team and for F5 to do that. And I noticed we have um, a few screens up here, so can you walk us through a little bit what's going on? We have, I know we have the Oracle database firewall GUI open. We have the big IP ASM GUI open. Can you walk us through a little bit what's going on here? Yeah, so what we're doing is we're actually gonna demo the integration between the ASM web firewall from F5 and the database firewall from Oracle. So we have a live demo in the booth, yep. and we have um, the ability to show you what happens when you try to make like a SQL injection attack on a website, and how the integration between ASM and database firewall gives you the visibility into who was attempting that type of attack and the reports that are available to the database firewall admin so that there's um, more information for them when they try to figure out how to tighten up policy or if they need to um, you know, do more investigation into who is launching these types of attacks. And it's kind of the best of both worlds with security, right? We have what's always been the best, of, best practice being layered security, so having a web application firewall and then a database behind it, but then adding ASM also then adds the context, which is critical to make those intelligent decisions as soon as that request comes in, right? Yeah, so if you look at a traditional web application that has a database behind it, what people are interested in if you're a hacker or if you're somebody trying to get access to information you really don't care about the web server itself. You care about the data, the valuable data that is in that database right. behind that web server. So when they launch an attack on a website, a lot of times you don't know where it's really coming from because the web server usually has like privileged access to the database to do its job. But from a database firewall perspective, all of that information is coming from the web tier. You actually don't know who the real attacker really is. So when you layer web firewall technology with database firewall technology, going after the best practices of defense in depth and layered, the integration that we have gives you both the user context, the information about who it is, and the protection layers that you need. Very cool stuff, so let's take a look here. So um, this is a uh, screenshot of the ASM reporting engine that actually shows you where the attack came from, from an ASM perspective, the web firewall perspective. And so for, a, for an admin of a big IP application security manager, you'd go application security and then down to reporting and then yep. requests, right? Yep. Yeah, in this case, we've just filtered out, say we just want to look at illegal requests because this is a demo, that's how we have it set up. And so you can see there's some entries there with a IP address and some other information like the URL that they were trying to attack and that kind of stuff. Right. So that's pretty standard ASM reporting type tools. If we move over to the database firewall, uh, the actual console, this is their quote dashboard. Right. And this gives you um, an overview of the traffic running through the database firewall 
and you'll notice that there's like little counters there for how many SQL statements that have gone through the firewall and those kinds of things. And then if you scroll down in the lower left corner, we actually see what we call top 10 threats from the web tier. These are actual messages from the ASM to the database firewall that actually show up in the dashboard with information about who the user was and what kind of attack it was, what the object was that they were attacking, timestamp and all that stuff. And you can see the little icons here with the F5 symbol and the database firewall symbol. That means that the database firewall understood the message from ASM oh, okay. and was able to correlate an actual SQL injection event with the same event that it saw at the database firewall. Wow. So it's actually putting the two events together to give you the reporting information that you need. And what does that actually look like is you go into the actual reporting tool and you do a drill down and you actually see the, one the, with the detail yep. with the database firewall symbol and the F5 symbol and the extra data that has been collated between the two events. And then what happens if you click on, the, on this little link here? So this is the most important part, is this actually gives you specific details about both events. So it tells you everything about the SQL itself. And if you scroll down, you'll notice that there's now a whole bunch of additional F5 events that are very important, like what is the real source IP address that the attack came from? Mm. What was the object on the page, right? What URL were they accessing? It includes things like what protocol were they running? It includes very important information like their cookie. Oh, so not only do you know what IP address they came from, you know what session they were using, and you have very detailed information about what was going on at the instant that that attack request was launched at your website. And so, you know, with a lot of the, um, the uh, attacks that have been going on over the past week, and I, I realize they've been primarily denial of service attempts, but by gathering such information, like their cookie information, does that then allow a company to, that's actual forensic evidence that they can then use down the line, right? That's exactly right. This information can be used by law enforcement and or other agencies to provide additional evidence if there is a desire to use that to actually do something about the attack itself. Yeah, pursuing the, the, the perpetrator. Yeah. Wow. And I believe you had one more um, uh, little piece of information for us uh, about the integration that you wanted to share. Yeah, so like I said, we went to uh, uh, London and we worked with the database firewall team. So we now actually do have another deployment guide that is specific for setting up the load balancing of the database firewalls with the LTM product. So that's a brand new solution for us this year. Very interesting stuff, Chris. I always love hanging with you because you got the coolest stuff here. So there you have it, a much deeper, or yeah, much deeper, I would say, integration between the Big IP Application Security Manager, our web application firewall, and Oracle's database firewall. And so, for Chris, thanks again, buddy. My good camera guy, Jonathan, behind the lens. I'm Peter, reporting from San Francisco, and we're with F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.